public with the sensational singing chef, Neil Fuentes. Welcome back. Well, thank you. We're making a traditional Dominican recipe today. What are we making? Yes, we are. We are going to make, be making tostones. Which are? Tostones is a green plantain that is deep fried. Deep fried. But I have my little twist on it, and you'll see what it is. Are you going to tell me now or Absolutely. No? Let's do this. Okay. Let me show you. All right, so we have green plantains right here. Yeah. The, green, the plantain is a family of the banana. Right. It's just a bigger banana, a little starchier. And does it taste the same, similar? It tastes similar, especially the, because what happens is you can eat it uh, green, you can eat it ripe. And sometimes this skin goes completely black. That's mm. when it gets better because it's sweet plantain. That's when it gets better. Oh, yeah, that's when it gets now, better. But today we're going to work with the green ones. I've only had plantains deep fried. Is that the more common way to prepare them? No, there are several ways that you can use plantains. It's something called mofongo, which is you boil these guys and you smash them like mashed potatoes mm. and you put a sofrito in it Ooh, and mix it all. That's, that's mofongo. Okay. If you do it with a sweet plantain, you can do something similar called fufu, which is the sweet plantain smashed with caramelized onions and bacon. It's absolutely, that's another show. No, we'll do that up another show. <laughs> okay. We'll do another show. So, now, there is a secret to cut this. How do you cut so, it? So, I have a knife for you. You hit the, the small one, I get the big one. So, I don't so you myself. cut the tips okay. first, okay? Okay. You cut the tips first, and then you do incisions on the plantain. Okay. You do one, two, okay. probably three. You can do four. This whatever. is usually how I slice my banana to put in my cereal. Oh, cereal. you do? In my Rice Krispies, yeah, without cutting my hand. Did you see that? But you got to be careful okay. with that. Okay. And then, what you do is you put your thumb in it. Right? Okay. And then the skin, as you can see, start coming off easily. See that? Okay. That's how you do it. So once you peel your plantain, you're going to cut this in little rounds, um, probably about an inch, I would say about an inch thick. Let's get this thing out of here. Okay. Put it over here. We're going to cut them in about an inch thick, uh, little rounds. See? Yeah, the skin on the plantain is much thicker than a it's traditional banana. It's much thicker than a regular banana. banana. Okay. Yeah. So you really have to slice it. I got right. it. I got gotcha. you. Exactly. So, you see, we cut them about this size okay. right here. And then we're going to deep fry them. Now, what you do, the, the normal way to do it is about do it about a minute and a half for each side on these little rounds right here. So be careful because okay. the, the oil is really, really hot. So. Now, carefully. while that is frying, I already, you know, pre-fried some already. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, you deep fry this for about a minute and a half on each side. And then, this is my secret. Some people, what they do is they make the plantains and then they season them. What I do, I like to do is put the salt... Right on the, right on the board. cutting board, and then a little bit of garlic, garlic powder, powder right on the cutting board, too. See that? Uh -huh. and then we'll grab our plantain that we did fry for a little bit, we'll put a little bit of wax paper right on top, like that. And that thing we're going to use. This, the pan. To we're mash. And then we smash it like that. And there's your tostón. And then you deep fry it again. And then this baby goes back into here. See that? Now, here's what you do. Yeah. You go into homes and you teach people how to cook this stuff. Correct. And you perform for them. And then I perform for them and I teach them how to dance merengue. And, and blah, blah, with blah. this, you teach them the merengue. Exactly. exactly. Do you want to know how to dance merengue? I'm, I'm right. curious. Now, yeah. there is a lot of people that think that when you move your waist, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need some music. Yeah. When you, you move know, your right waist, you. Okay. You, 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 know, you make yes. a lot of effort, but it's right. not in here. It's not in the, it's not it's in the hips. It's on the knees. Oh. It's on your knees. So okay. do this. And then go the other way. And then one, two, one. Now, look at your waist moving already. Yes. Now, you can go as fast as you want. Okay. To the point that you can go like. Oh. <laughs> See? So I'm not sure mine does that. <laughs> yes, you can. Just go fast. Go like this. How no, about no, I do this? Your knees. Your knees. Oh, okay. Move your knees. Just move your knees. There you go. Okay. See? Okay. I got it. Yeah. Yes. That's it. That's what you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> now, so what okay. we got is, you know, we, I smashed a little bit of them okay. already. So I'm going to start deep frying them right here. So we're gonna, we want to deep fry them now for about, I would say, a minute, minute and a half as well, until they become really, really crispy. And, and that's is, when they're good. And that's when they're good. Now, this is a dish that you normally eat probably on the beach. You know what I mean? They sell them on the beach. Sometimes they cut them really, really, really. The same procedure to eat them, but cut them long. And then they put, like, coleslaw on top. That's how I've had it. Yeah, it's so good. So but good. It's so good. But I'll tell you, these are two of my favorites right here yeah. that you serve them with. What do you have here? Because you make well, these fresh, too. The good thing about plantains is that they're very versatile, and you can eat them with anything. You can do deep fried beans. You can do anything with that. You can use it as a chip. And you can eat them by themselves because of the fact that we put a little garlic and salt Give in Give me it. one of those plantains. Take one of those. Okay. Take that. How good is that with the garlic? Now, if you try a little that bit of my... That is a heavenly banana is what that is. <laughs> if you put a little bit of chunky guacamole homemade that I made this morning just for you, 
Now you gotta try this guacamole, it's really good. Or I have also here a little bit of a mango salsa. Mm, make me one of those. You want one of oh those? Oh my too? goodness. Isn't that good? <laughs> That this is guacamole like a, is insane. What is I in here? Oh, honey, I have my secrets to do, but that's another show. Okay. Okay. Now. See how he makes us invite him back? Absolutely. Okay. Now, try my mango salsa. This is absolutely fantastic. Will you just, just live with me and feed me all day? Honey, anytime you want to. <laughs> anytime you want to. Now, Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. Why is it so important to me, Dominican Republic? You know, I was a flight attendant. Um, I just learned that. Yeah, and one of my destinations. And that's why Dominican. you're so worldly. I'm yeah. The guacamole. Well, 47 countries around the world. <laughs> so. In, in Dominican Republic, in Santo Domingo specifically, there is a nightclub called La Guacara Taina. Mm -hmm. And basically what you do there is just go and dance merengue. And the cool thing about this um, place is the fact that... It's like a cave. Is it's that what a, you cave. a cave. It's a natural cave that has been transformed into a nightclub. So you just go there and just dance until 5 o'clock in the morning, just leave your life away, and then get out of there and go Listen, into the Listen, we're going to pack the plantains. We're <laughs> all going to the Dominican, all of us, and we're going to go to this cave and dance the night away. Absolutely. In the meantime, if you want...